Hello and welcome to episode 27 of the Victorian Studio podcast. My name is Maureen and I'm coming to you from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada on Sunday, December the 13th, 2015. Welcome to all new and returning viewers. I hope you enjoy your stay today, even though it's going to be a little bit different episode than than normal. Not a lot of knitting, unfortunately, um, but I hope you enjoy it nevertheless. Uh, let's see, this week, or this past two weeks, because I didn't podcast last week, uh, has been very, very busy for me. Uh, I've traded in my knitting needles for a paintbrush and cleaning tools. I was asked a few weeks ago by a local television station if I would be um, willing to be interviewed uh, the day before the new Star Wars movie opens, The Force Awakens. Um, now they've interviewed me before, so I guess they still had me on file as a contact. And so I said sure, but then I thought, oh, my uh, collection downstairs is in such a terrible state, and our basement also was such a mess. But I'm taking the opportunity um, for doing this interview to actually get down there and clean it all up and set it up the, really the way I wanted to be uh, set up um, for a long time. I've wanted to be able to um, organize it much better than I than I had it before. So even though this interview probably won't be very long, um, if it's for the news, it's usually just maybe a minute or so, maybe not even. Uh, they're only going to be here about an hour. So I know that when they edit it down and everything, it's at most maybe a minute or two of footage. So I'm not really cleaning and organizing just for the interview, but I'm using it as an impetus to actually get off my butt and clean it and organize it because I know there's some people have also asked to to visit and, and check out my collection. I've always said, no, no, it's uh, such a mess. So it really feels so good to be able to um, get new shelving and get it set up properly. So um, if I get a chance to, I'll um, sneak in a few or give you a sneak peek uh, with a few photos, even though I'm, I'm not done. I'm probably about 80 or 90 percent done. Um, but I still have a few days before they arrive to finish off the fine, final things to do. So um, next week's episode, I'll insert a lot more photos and hopefully some video if they allow it um, of the interview. So uh, this week, just a, just a few sneak peeks. So um, because I've uh, not had a lot of time at home, uh, every minute that I that I have available, I've been downstairs organizing. Um, I haven't really gotten a lot of knitting done, even though it's been two weeks. So I seem to be behind on everything because here it is, um, 12 days before Christmas. And uh, even though I've got most of my shopping done, that's great. I haven't finished my cards. I haven't done any baking yet. I still have so much to do, but luckily I only have four days of work this week and then I'm off until the new year. So the only knitting I did get done was during some lunch hours at work. So I'll go over that a little bit later. At first, I wanted to um, go over the finished objects that were entered in to the finished object thread for the toy along uh, since the last episode. We've had nine more entries, so we'll, um, I'll go over those. And also I'll announce the uh, winner of the October and November uh, $10 or less RAV pattern. Um, the winner was drawn earlier, so I will announce that. And just before I recorded today, I locked uh, the thread for Sarah Lawsey's Reindeer Family giveaway, and I drew for the uh, winner of that as well, again using random.org for those, and I will announce those at the end of the episode. So uh, let's start with the entries in the last two weeks to the toy along. Uh, first one that I wanted to share with you is by Vonnie, our studio Vaughn Design on Ravelry. She made a very cute hairy hedgehog. Now this is a pattern by Rainer Galati and she knit this for a co-worker. So thank you so much Vonnie. The second entry is from Christina or Mama C. Uh, she uh, knit up an adorable gray mouse. And this is the Susan Claudino pattern, Bonnie Wee Mouse. 
and it is just so cute. I, I really have to try uh, one of Susan's patterns. I've seen so many of her adorable toys out there. Um, they really are very, very cute. So thank you very much. Okay, the next one is by Catherine, or Kathy San on Ravelry. She made a Rusty Bear. And this is from the book, The Knitted Teddy Bear. And the pattern that she chose was called Catherine. And this is a book by Sandra Pauly. And she says in her notes that uh, this bear looks like her childhood bear, teddy bear. And yes, it is a classic design of a teddy bear. I love it. And uh, she's giving that to her daughter, so lucky daughter. Thank you, Catherine, for entering that. Uh, the next toy I wanted to share with you is by Allison or Allison Roseboom. She made a wee snowman called a Mochi Machi Snowman. And this is a knit little tiny toy, really cute, by Anna Horekovic. And I love the, she even has a scarf on him that's a gradient yarn. So it's very, very cute. Thank you very much, Allison. The uh, next one is by Rachel, or Acton Kitten, and she made three French hens. And uh, she knit this pattern by Claire Garland. And uh, she said she improvised and um, added to the pattern. And my question is, Rachel, are you going to do the rest <laughs> of, the, um, uh, uh, of the song? Because I actually have a book I'm going to share with you a little bit later about the 12 days of Christmas. So I was looking on her project pages. I don't think she's going to do the other ones. but. Wouldn't that be an undertaking? But uh, yeah, I love the three French hens. Thank you very much, Rachel. Uh, the next entry is by Tilly, of the Tilly Tout, uh, Tilly Tout, Tilly Trout podcast. And uh, Tilly knit an awesome one-eyed kitty. Now she was asked by her daughter-in-law if she could make it this way because it uh, was going to match her beloved sweet one-eyed and no tail cat holly and i'll enter i'll uh, insert a picture of that cat here as well it is so adorable thank you very much tilly for adding that to the toy cal um, she used the pattern c is for cat by emily ivy and uh, it really is very cute so thank you so much uh, the next toy is by anita and she entered a gingerbread man um, she knit this and she added a red bow tie on to him. The pattern is by Frankie Brown and it's perfect for the season so he looks very very yummy. So thank you Anita. Very cute. And wouldn't you know it just after that one was entered there's another gingerbread man was entered or this time a gingerbread boy and this pattern is um, by Sarah Elizabeth Kellner. And uh, this toy was created by Rachel, Octon Kitten again, and she added a scarf and mittens to him, and I just love him. And I also love the buttons down his front and also for his eyes. Very, very cute. So thank you very much, Rachel, again. And the last toy I wanted to share with you is Allison again. Um, this time she has made a second Raleigh by Susan Claudino. And I love the blues, uh, the colors, and the pooling on him. And he makes a good buddy for your first, first Raleigh. So thank you very much, Allison. So that's the toys I have to share with you this week. I want to thank all the sponsors um, that we'll be drawing for uh, prizes at the end of this month. Well, I guess on January 1st, actually. Um, there's Ancient Arts Yarns has provided two beautiful skeins of yarn. Uh, fondant Fiber with the uh, beautiful fiber and knitter's soap. On the Dock Knits, Pat for her bag and stitch markers. And uh, Notions, Knitting Notions by Stitchcraft Marketing. So I'll also um, be awarding another $10 or less uh, RAV pattern at the end of uh, December as well. So thank you everyone for all the sponsorship of the prizes for the Toy uh, Cal. If you haven't been here before, this uh, Toy Knit Along is uh, hosted by Talia and Marlisha of Penhook and Needles podcast. And I'm co-hosting with uh, Kim at Me, My Dog and Some Yarn and uh, also um, Pharmagurumi 
at the Yarnaceuticals podcast. So uh, it's been going on since October 1st and it ends December 31st. So if you ha haven't entered yet or you're still finishing up your toy, still a couple of weeks left before that ends. I can't believe how quickly it, the, uh, the few months have gone by. So uh, next week I'll uh, show those, those prizes again. So thank you everyone for your sponsorship and for all the entries so far. It's been great uh, seeing everybody's work. Um, so as I said, this uh, past two weeks, I've barely gotten any knitting done. Um, every waking moment at home has been spent in the basement. And uh, the only knitting that I was able to accomplish was during my lunch hours at work. So I'll just review a couple of things that I was working on. Um, if you have been here before, um, a few weeks ago, I did a Santa for a Senior um, gift for uh, a fellow named Mike, and I knit up um, a scarf and a hat. And when hubby was modeling the hat for me to make sure that it would fit a man, um, he mentioned, oh, I really like this. So, of course, I had to make him one too, so I'll give it to him for Christmas. So that's the only thing I got finished this week. And so I have it here in my um, my Silver Shed bag uh, by Ann Brody that she made out of my uh, custom fabric that I had created from my Cranberry Bear uh, drawing. So, of course, I have to put the Christmas present in the Christmas bag. Now, this pattern is called the Man Hat. And it's by... I uh, Haven Leave It. So it's a free pattern on Ravelry. And I use size 9 needles, and that is 5.5 millimeter size. And also got a little bit left of the Woolies wool. So uh, I use both the charcoal and marble. And so, as I said, I started and finished this hat for hubby uh, in the last little while. So I think he'll like that. It'll be nice and warm. It's nice and thick. And I only changed it a little bit. I changed the positioning of the stripes just a fraction. Brought them down a little bit lower than the one I did the first time. So it was a really quick knit, obviously, because I hadn't, I had already done one before, so I knew exactly what to expect. So. That'll be a nice stuffing stuffer or something for hubby. So that was uh, one project that I was working on. And the only other project I got some work on was my cat. Now, um, if you uh, have been following along, I'm hoping to still get all three of my uh, own cats done in toy form. Um, few weeks ago I showed my Dakota the Black Cat that I made from Ancient Arts yarns that they provided for me for these projects. Uh, the first one I did was uh, from their Le Chat Noir uh, colorway and this time for Sheba because she's a grey tabby uh, I'm using their grey tuxedo colorway. So this is the yarn that I'm using for Sheba. So beautiful. It's 100% superwash merino in the DK weight. 225 yards. So uh, using that to, let's see, I've got, I haven't stuffed it yet, but I started the head. So you can see how it's patterning for the uh, striped tabby. So that looks like it will work out. So the head so far, and I'm just working on the body. Boy, I hardly got any knitting done at all. It has been so weird not being able to pick up the needles when I get home and heading downstairs to clean instead. It'll be it'll be such a nice feeling when I get all of that work done in the basement and I can come home and relax and get back to my knitting again. I'm really looking forward to the holidays when I can do that. And of course I'm using my TPN holder by Little Bobbins and Sweet Danny over at the Little Bobbins. Uh, podcast. So yeah, of course I have this in my uh, fondant fiber cat bag, so uh, has to keep with a theme. So I'm I'm really looking forward to having more time to to knit 
and uh, just relax over the holidays. But like everybody else, this is probably the busiest time of year, getting ready for Christmas. And with this added uh, pressure to get ready for this interview, it's been a very strange couple of weeks. So um, hopefully next time that I podcast, I'll be able to show you some progress on my bonbon shawl by Fluffy Fibers, my Roosevelt card again, got no love at all. Um, and also I'm hoping to choose, speaking of Danny at Little Bobbins, I'm hoping to choose um, a pattern and some yarn to once again cast on for the uh, Christmas Eve socks. Last year, um, hundreds of knitters got together uh, because of her and cast on socks on Christmas Eve. So. I think in the next couple of days I'm going to have to make that decision on what I'm going to do. So maybe next week I will have that done and be able to show you at least what my plans are. So let's see, um, other than that, uh, knitting wise, the only other thing I wanted to mention was a huge thank you to Valeria. Um, I've already PM'd her and thanked her personally, but I told her my next episode I would be sure to wear, if you notice, I'm wearing something knitted today, and this isn't knitted by me, this is knitted by Valeria. I received a huge surprise package from her with this beautiful Hogwarts Express shawl in my favorite color, and it's even, I hope you can see, it's even got beads for the owl's eyes. And it's just so incredibly beautiful. Valeria, I can't thank you enough. I've never had anybody knit anything for me. Well, other than my mother, I guess. But I've, I've never received a gift so sweet and um, so thoughtful. Thank you so much. Uh, not only did she send that, she says it, was, it came to way too early. She allowed herself extra time because Canada Post was so delayed getting... Um, her first gift to me uh, when we were doing a uh, pocket letter trade. It took weeks and weeks and weeks. And this one came quite quickly, so she was very surprised. So she sent me a wonderful Christmas card. It's my first Christmas card of the season, and also a book. And uh, she knows me so very well. She sent me a copy of Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, and this is a uh, J.K. Rowling book that goes with the Harry Potter series and with the new movies, the new series of movies coming out, this is just wonderful. So, and it's also a UK version for comic relief. I just love it. So it's been really uh, wonderful. Thank you so much, uh, Vlera. It's, uh, it was really very touching to receive that from you. And as you can see, I love, love, love my Hogwarts Express. Now, uh, the only other things that I wanted to share with you this week before I um, finish off this fairly quick podcast is something that I didn't get to show you the last time I was um, showing some cross stitch that I did. Uh, that's because when I got out the Christmas ornaments and um, decorations for this year, I found a cross stitch that I did many years ago and um, it doesn't have a frame right now because I was um, going to reframe it. So I thought before I put it behind glass again, I would show it to you so it wouldn't be uh, too much of a glare. So this is a cross stitch um, that's a two piece, or um, kind of a two layered cross stitch. If you see um, through the windows, you can see that there's actually items behind there. The Christmas tree behind the window, the main window, and then some candles and that at the top. So I really love doing this cross stitch. I love um, the house and it's just done in a crew on, on the beige uh, Ada cloth. So that was a fun project to do and I usually put it up every year with that with my Santa Claus that I also cross stitch. but. Um, I did love doing this this pattern too, so I'm going to be reframing that and putting it up again this year. We got our tree up. I might enter or add some photos of some of my decor as well. Um, that and the only other thing I wanted to share with you was um, a book that I made. And now one of the videos that I've done previous to um, my podcasts uh, in my video lists on YouTube 
are some paper projects that I've done, some um, kind of um, scrapbooking style uh, projects. And one of them is this 12 Days of Christmas book that I made. I think it was last year that I made it. And what I use it for is rather than because the 12 Days of Christmas actually starts on Christmas Day, I use this as my countdown book. And um, what it is, it's a book of lists for me. I live by lists. I can't uh, seem to remember anything without writing it down. So um, what I did was I um, count down all the things that I have to get done by Christmas um, using each one of these. So I guess today is uh, the first day that I've got to start using this with 12 days to go. Um, so this year, even though daughter is going to be hosting Christmas, I'm going to be helping her. So it's going to be a little bit different, all the things that I need to do. But I'm glad that I have this, especially this year with all of this um, preparation for this Star Wars interview. Um, it's really going to come in handy. And usually I just um, set this on the table as a decoration as well. Um, but also it's using the 12 Days of Christmas pattern. Uh, patterned paper by um, Graphic 45. So if you want to see um, this project and how I made it, um, just check out my other videos. I'll put a link in the show notes actually right to that video um, in my video list on YouTube and you'll see exactly how I made this and um, showing all the pockets and everything that get pulled out. So I thought I'd mention that today since I've got to start using this and get on the ball and get ready for Christmas. With everything Star Wars, the last few days going through all of my collectibles and um, getting them all cleaned up and organized, it's uh, kind of taken away from all the Christmas preparations. So it's going to be so nice when I get all of this done. I can get back into knitting and preparing for the holidays. So I hope your uh, past few weeks were um, well and I hope you were well and uh, that you got done what you need to get done in preparation for the holidays as well and um, before I sign off uh, today I thought I would announce the two winners um, first of all for the winner of the um, toy along October and November entries for the $10 or less Ravelry pattern that I'll be sending someone. Um, I did a um, random.org draw and the winner was, let's see, was entries from 2 to 86 in the FO thread and the winner is Rose Bob number 7070 for her Elsa doll. So congratulations, um, that was such a, a beautiful entry. So um, just PM me on Ravelry and uh, let me know what pattern you would like and I will gift that to you. So congratulations. And the other uh, drawing that I wanted to do today, I did just before I started recording, um, it's for the Reindeer Sock Family, or sorry, Reindeer family uh, pattern by Sarah Lawsey at the Pearls of Color podcast. Um, she uh, was uh, so sweet to donate uh, a copy of her new reindeer family ornaments and so I uh, random used random.org to choose a winner between number two and nine and the winner was number two, Sue Family Diva. Congratulations. Um, I'll let Sarah know that you are the winner and she will gift you that uh, pattern from her um, from her designs. So thank you so much everybody who entered uh, and thank you so much to Sarah for donating that pattern. I hope you enjoy um, making that suit. At least you still have time to get a few ornaments done before Christmas. They're so fun to do and so easy. Uh, really are very cute to hang on the tree or maybe on some gifts. So let's see, I think that is it. I have to get back to doing some more cleaning and painting and organizing. Um, but I'll add in here a couple of pictures um, at the end so you can see just what I've been up to. So until next week, 
I hope everybody has a good week. I hope it's relaxing. I hope you're getting done what you need to get done, getting your lists completed and crossed off. I have yet to, but uh, I uh, hope you'll come back again next week to join me in my Victorian studio. Until then, have a wonderful week, everyone. Bye-bye. 